their showdown tonight in Philly. Third straight win will be tied for their longest win streak since Josh McDaniels took over as head coach. And if you haven't seen that Dolphins offense, I'm just saying you need to. Miami's offense is so good. They're just the fourth team since the 1970 merger to lead the NFL in both passing yards and rushing yards in week seven or later. Joining the 91 Bills and the 49ers did it back, back seasons in 92 and 93. They'll be put to the test on the road against the tough Eagles defense, though. That's been banged up as late, of late. Sal Palantonio has much more on that. Sal? The Dolphins offense will make you defend every blade of grass on every down. They have speed everywhere. And they have scored seven touchdowns this season of 40 yards or more. That's tied for second most in the NFL in a single season going into week seven since the 1970 merger. That's very good. The Eagles are week after week, so much so that they have started or had snaps from at least 14 different players in their secondary. Tied for most in the NFL, tied with the Bears, who are 1-5-1. One one. So doing a great job of adjusting to those injuries. But against this Miami Dolphins offense, they will be severely challenged. Thanks, Sal Pal. We know Darius Slay is back. Herm Edwards is with us. So listen, one of the reasons these guys went to the Super Bowl was that defensive front, right? How do you expect Mike McDaniel, the scheme, to just take that defensive front out of the equation? Well, first of all, Tua doesn't hold the ball very long. He's only been sacked six times. In fact, he gets rid of it quicker than any other quarterback in the NFL. That is correct. And so as much as we want to talk about the defensive front of the Philadelphia mm -hmm. Eagles, this is very good. It's really the back end. How's the back end going to play? Mm -hmm. I've always said this about football. you got to get them on the grass when they catch the ball. And they have receivers that can, when they catch the ball, it has to be a five-yard catch. They can run a long way with it. So say how they, first, yes, how <laughs> they tackle is very important. <laughs> right. you got to get them down, and, and that's the uniqueness of his offense. The ball comes out of his hand very quickly. It puts a lot of stress on the linebackers and the right. secondary yeah. players. Well, it's real simple if they get into the red zone, because this okay. is where the Eagles struggle a little bit, in the red area. And mm -hmm. These guys are very good in the red area, about 67% <laughs> okay. in the red zone. So that's going to be the key. This won't be a 10-7 to 7 game, by the way. Right. It won't be that We're going to be flying? Yeah, we're going to be, be flying. Swimming. Are we going to be, be flying? Swimming. But you want to you wanna fly? You want to fly the right way. Long, <laughs> long possessions of the ball. Don't allow the Miami Dolphins to have the ball. If you allow them to have the ball too much, you're going to be in trouble. So not like short. No, yeah. no, long no, eagle like wings just flying. Long, a long trip, not a short trip. You see that, Jay? Long <laughs> trip, not a short trip. That's the strategy. That's, you only trip. get that from Herm. <laughs> not a short trip. Yeah, just like that, Jay. <laughs> God, the duration is to rise. And it demands 40 degrees Sunday, October 22. Beautiful, calm Sunday morning. Mass at St. Mary's. Great way to start the day. 22nd Sunday in ordinary time. McDonald's. Here's your score prediction for today. Sammy, who wins? 50 to 40. Dolphins? Yeah. Tate? 60 to 40. Dolphins? Ooh, 60 to 40. Mac? Uh, <laughs> 35 to 21 Eagles. Ooh, 14 points, the Eagles. Thanks, guys. All right, 11.06 on this Sunday, headed back to Milbank, the 909. Still wondering about the Dolphins. I just don't know who this Miami offense really is when I consider their opponents. Their opponents have their win percentage of, what, 5 and 25? We look at their record. The one time that they stepped up in class, they were dominated by that Buffalo team, and I picked them to win that game. So I'm excited because I want to see who this team really is. Jalen Carter will be back this week. We have an upset Philadelphia team that's pissed off. Physically at the point of attack, you talk about offensive line, defensive line. If Lane Johnson is back, they're going to be able to play that keep away. I'm just not sure Miami is as good as we think they are. They're going to be tested in the near future to see if this offense is legit or if it's more like the one that we saw against the Buffalo Bills. Bart Scott on get up. Game six. First and second total offense this year. Both teams have Super Bowl aspirations. I'm excited about this. We've had so many terrible Byron primetime games. This one looks like it's going to be a shootout. I can't wait to watch it. Are you as excited as I? 
Yeah, it's huge. I mean, at the top two offenses in terms of total yards per game, obviously Jalen Tua, that's going to be a storyline we hear about nonstop. And I think the idea of Jalen coming off of a really terrible performance against the Jets, three picks, four turnovers uh, overall. Uh, they've had some injury issues. Lane Johnson, the right tackle, got hurt. I think he'll be available. Darius Slade coming back. I think still wants to continue to put up those elite performances uh, because I don't feel like they're being taken seriously still. In a weird way, it feels like we talk a lot about Kansas City, a lot about Buffalo, and then other teams. And then we get to Miami. Um, I don't know if people believe in their postseason hopes, but you beat the Eagles, and if you do it convincingly, a lot of people are going to say, yeah, maybe that's the team to beat, maybe even over Kansas City. I, for me, and I, and everybody else, I kind of, I kind of hold this group. Well, because when they played the Bills, they lost, right? I think that's part of it. I still think they're, I think they put up sort of eye-popping numbers, but then when they play, and this was like this last year, too, they would put up eye-popping numbers, and they would play somebody good, and they'd lose. And I need to see them win a game like this. Now, look, if they go to Philadelphia, and they win tonight, Byron, then I'm good, right? Like, if you go win at Philadelphia, then I'm going to say, hey, you're right there. But I think if you go back, are you going to you gonna pull the trigger on the Dolphins? It's, I think it'll be a close game, um, a high-scoring game. I, I, I'm actually not sure which way to go because, I mean, at home, maybe that's all that matters, right? Two close teams give the Eagles the advantage as they're at home. At the same time, you have 500 yards a game, man, for an NFL team is ridiculous. It is. I mean, if you tell me if you tell me that's USC in 2004 or something like that, fine. This is an NFL team in a really challenging division putting up 500 yards a game. I understand. That's hard to overlook. But I also know this. Here's who they've beaten. Chargers by two points. Patriots, Broncos, Giants, Panthers. What were the margins, though? What were the score? What were the margins? It doesn't matter. When you win, when you win the game, it counts as one. Now they're going to play the, the Eagles. In three weeks, they're going to play the Chiefs. Let me see how we do in notes. I expect you to beat the Patriots in two weeks, the Raiders in four weeks. I want to see. This is the game I want to see. They're going to have a ridiculous record at the end of this year. They are. Let's see what they do. They lost to the Bills by 28 points. Let's see what they do tonight in Philadelphia. And then I'll decide whether Mike McDaniel's just kind of a cool dude or he's a coach that actually has a chance to win the Super Bowl. Did oh, we is that your issue with him? Is that him? Well, I don't think he's cool. But I don't care that he's not cool. I think he's cool, not cool, but he thinks he's cool, and that annoys me a little bit. Okay. You know what I mean? Just being... Just just do the 15 yards on the field, trying to extend and keep his feet. Red zone. But Josh Allen getting out of that trouble. That little bit. Red leaves. Bill Bank, next. Here we are. Thank you. Ooh, a carpet of leaves. Ladies and gentlemen, 25 to 24 Dolphins today. Clay Pitpool, big debut, nine catches, bold prediction. Defense gets two sacks, two, two of throws for 324 yards. I can't wait for Sunday night. They're even saying a little rain maybe tonight. 20% chance at 8 o'clock. 55 degrees in Millbank at 7 o'clock. 53 in Philly. Oh my. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Kelly. Picks Week 7. Picked up by Terrell Buckley. He's not going to get him. Parker says, let me nail somebody. But he's not going to get Oh, great moments in Dolphin history. That was week seven. Now, last year in week seven, the Dolphins beat Pittsburgh 16 to 10 on Sunday night. Noah makes the interception. Number nine comes through. Uh, today's poster looks like this. Beautiful parts of life. Got the stripes on the side, just like the new. Say go Dolphins, Mom. Go Dolphins. Yes. 
Pull up the Philly guy. Win street energy. My state, one place. Leave with the victory. Two of our jailers. Leave with some memories. Might show brotherly love, but no sympathy. Beat them up in Philly. Beat them up in Philly. Beat them up in Philly. Dolphins running through the city. Beat them up in Philly. Beat them up in Philly. Beat them up in Philly. Dolphins running through the city. Okay. D O L P H I N S A R E T H E. Great sense. Record can't never be broken. Shula could get rest. Philly couldn't be the Jets. We are not impressed. Miami Dolphins. Who that? Miami Dolphins number one. My favorite just arrived and it is 447 Sunday night. Time to go help out. Welcome. There she is. This is a million dollar pregame walk here. We are going through some sprinkles and the smell of uh, well something is in the air. Farm, fall, not flowers. They were calling people as they were drawing them. And I didn't get Into the stadium, bringing some speed and big plays. I'm sure his quarterback and the maestro, Tua Tungo Vailoa, looking cool and looking nice. Can we do our celebration that we want to do? The Dolphins with reason to celebrate. Come on now. You see a little canoe there? <laughs> really big selfie energy tonight after Tyree Kill's celebration last week. We couldn't do a flip, but we are flipping out Jack, Rodney, and Tony. A lot of Kelly Green out there. <laughs> there sure is, Coach, and as you can see, we got a couple of teams with Super Bowl expectations. It's speed versus power tonight. Last month, you were at the Dolphins facility. So what did you learn down there in Miami that applies tonight? Well, you realize... It's not just about speed with the Dolphins. They don't, they don't want to be just the fastest. They want to be the smartest. And I think Coach McVay has done a great job of pushing and challenging these guys. And they've done a great job of responding. And Miami is very, very fast. But Philadelphia, on the other hand, is built for power. Offensive line here. It helps that Miami, they get the ball out faster than any offense in the league. So how do they make life so hard on defense? Well, Jack, he almost forced you into playing man-to-man -man coverage. Ideally, you say, hey, I'm going to play zone, stay back, keep the ball in front of you. But you will see that tonight. We had to break out the scroll. We had to break the scroll to show you how many of those categories they're leaving. Back in you, Maria. Historic, you say. Yeah, the Dolphins have the second most yards by any team through six games in NFL history, which is why we have the scroll, because they're atop the leaderboard and so so many different stats. We don't have time to break them down, <laughs> but we want you to be aware of them, okay, and know how historic this offense is. But you have key to Sue Spaghetti on Sunday night football night for mom. Oh, <laughs> Kelly Green. Wow. He's dancing his way into our heart, but the defense got to deal with Jalen Waddle. Yeah. You're welcome, America. And by Progressive, the right call to protect your home and car. Remember uh, November 1993, Jason? Dolphins-Eagles? I remember. Yeah? Yeah. Marino Watson, Doug Peterson, the starting quarterback. Right? Oh, look, 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 look at Hollywood. Look at Wow. Look at Chris Collins. Family, yes. Get a kiss, a good luck hug from the babies. It's almost time for kickoff. The Packers. All right, the Dolphins are taking the field. Uh, up next, they have to kick it off against the Eagles. It should be a good one. We've got speed, and we've got swift. Oh, Let's oh, go. Tua Tagovailoa is a professional, much more different than Tua Tagovailoa at, at home, being a dad, being a husband. But I think it's intertwined more since the coming of Mike McDaniel with sort of the freedom that he's brought to the organization. Dude, you can express yourself. You can joke. But when it is time to work, we know it's time to work. How has you just been more confident? And you start to look at some of the guys. Bradley Chubb, he's playing a lot better this year. But to me, I'm really excited for some of the role players. Andrew Van Ginkle, he's been outstanding. He has four sacks, Jack. Well, the Dolphins.
opponents want to use motion, turn it into a track meet. Philadelphia wants to mash with their offensive line and run it. I think the Dolphins are going to do it a little bit better. I'm picking that speed. Two names I'm looking to hear a lot, okay? DeAndre Swift and Dallas Goddard out of the backfield. I think, I think he's going to be tremendous. What's it next around? Miami 28, right, the Eagles 24. 28-24 right there. 25-24 here. So, the experts are picking mostly Philly. Eagles have been everywhere all year long. Haven't played their best football. Tony We've Dungy seen the Dolphins be the greatest the show one. Mm. I think we that like Tony tonight. Dungy best. I'm going to take best. the Dolphins to a close one. <laughs> hey, I'm riding with the show, too. I'm taking the Dolphins 28-27. Look at these game. guys. No Xavier Howard, I think, hurts Miami tonight. I'm taking the Eagles in another close game. I'm bringing some good luck to Their opponents are 5-24 and 24 up to this point. <laughs> this will be their biggest test of the year. Philly needs this game. It's in Philly. Look for Philly to get back to being a more balanced attack on offense. I take the Philly, Philadelphia Eagles. Say it, say it. In a close one. Say fly Eagles. Oh, fly. Lord. They've got to continue that tonight if they're going to give him the time to throw the football. Well, they're going to help. They're going to try to help that secondary out for the Dolphins, which a little banged up, as you said. Xavier Howard's not going to play, so Eli Apple. Obviously, and Cater Kohu are going to play a lot of football. We'll find out who plays in the nickel and dime situation in, uh, in passing situations tonight. John, they're going to have to run the football, continue to do so. I mean, the Dolphins are number one in the league. Looking forward to a great night here in Philadelphia. It is the Eagles and the Dolphins, a big time measuring stick for both. We've got the birds and the fins in South Philly on Sunday Night Football. About the That's right. I thought the same thing. The and then we walked by Harold Carmichael out here, one of the great wide receivers, like 6'10. And I thought of that tonight. I thought, wow, same jersey he was wearing. Dolphins would be wearing their white jerseys and uh, their uh, aqua pants. So uh, it won't be hard to tell between the two teams. That's for sure. Uh, Jalen Hurts is being introduced to the crowd now. And Everybody on their feet here at Lincoln Financial Field. Joe, this crowd will be nuts. Uh, my daughter lives as well as the Sirius XM. The best pro wrestling, the biggest names in the industry are all right here. The Nature Boy, Ric Flair. Somebody got to be the greatest. Number one versus number one. Hmm. I don't remember that ever happening. For those of you who have never watched a Philadelphia Eagle home game, a ball eagle flies around the stadium during the playing of the national anthem. And lands on the arm of his handler uh, at about the 30-yard line. We witnessed that, Joe. I, I don't know that I've seen that in years. And it's it's just a great scene as the captains make their way toward the center of the field. And tonight's referee is Brad Allen. It's a lot better, Bob. It is. Tails, you've won the toss. Defer. You've opted to defer. I assume you will receive. Which direction will you kick? Uh, this way. All right, turn around this way. The toss of the coin again. They've been on a little bit of a roll, Joe. Decide to defer to the second half, and that means we will see Jalen Hurts and company to begin this football game. Joe, what you to one of the up men, and he has hit at the 23, and he's dropped there. It's uh, the wide receiver Zacchaeus, uh, who uh, took the squib kick, basically, and brought it back out to the 23. They, uh, Jimmy, they had Good their start. first loss last Funny week. To the yard line, they'll put it down there. Jalen Hurts hands it to Swift. They're on the left side, about uh, three or four to go. The handoff again to Swift. Swift is short. Raekwon. That's a nice second down job. Looked like Raekwon Davis there. Getting good push. Getting good push and getting back in on it with Sealer and a bunch of other guys in there. They hand it to Swift. Swift. Fighting for close. the first down, it's going to be close to it, is right. Joe, I think he's got it. He went yeah. past the line, the line of the game. Play action fake, Hurts back to throw. Looking downfield, he's got a receiver. Goes up and the ball bounces out of his hands. Goes out of bounds. Devontae Smith had it. Boy, had it. He got hit by Apple. And looking, looking. Gets it off to Swift on the swing pass. Good job, and defense. Baker grabs him around the waist and drags him down at the 49 yard line. That's Jerome. Where he had to dump it off and making sure they got in position to get in there on that tackle. Good job by Bake that time. 
really sticking with it. Yeah. A little third, a little bit longer this time, Jimmy. Empty backfield for Hurt. He's back to throw. Looking, gets it off as a receiver. Goddard's got a first down to tie in down the sideline and pushed out by Holland. Dallas Goddard. The first and goal at the seven yard line. The roll Baker. Wide open again. Yep. Baker. They give it to Swift. No, go. he keeps it hurt. Around the right side, he's dropped. He just falls down about the nine to all good from that point. Third down, quarterback draw. Taken down at the six yard line is hurt. I don't understand that call. I don't I don't understand the last two calls. Running right up the middle and then come back with a quarterback keeper up the middle. Yeah, about 20 yeah. yards. Kick is up and it's good. The Eagles take a 3-0 lead over the Miami Dolphins. 754 left this to play. Opening quarter here in Philadelphia. You You're listening to the Miami Dolphins radio. No hot night out. Okay. No more. Braxton looking up. That a boy Braxton. Miami Dolphins with 754 left to play in the opening quarter. Much more important things. In football game. But here we go. To a time. And this will go through the end zone. And the Dolphins will start at their own 25-yard line. Here comes Tua Tango-Vailoa. Joe, of all the great stats, I mean, he's leading the league in, you know, quarterback rating yards uh, with 1,876. Greatest stat right now for him, third down quarterback rating, 121, yeah. which is 13 points higher than anybody. Second place, Patrick yeah, Mahomes. His confidence. I mean, we're seeing him now taking shots over the top on third down because he has so much confidence right now. All-time high right now. First and ten, empty backfield for the Miami Dolphins. Now they bring Mostert back there. They took Tim Smythe in motion. Back at the 20-yard line. Mostert, pistol formation behind Tua. Ooh. And they flip the ball to Waddle. Waddle around Good the corner, 20, 25, and out the 28-yard line. So that'll go down as a pass play. They put Waddle in motion and flip it to him. Let's go to Kimbo Camper, Bo. Better than them. They've mined the University of Georgia over the last few years. They put a very, very stout defensive front that this offense is going to have to deal with. You're right about that. Thanks, Bo. Bradbury pushed Waddle out of bounds. He is second down. And about seven or eight to go. Play action fake to it. Back to throw. Looking. Oh, good. Good hit. It's Tyreek. Good hit. First down on the deep crossing route. So the first hookup between Tyreek Hill. Mostert again, the running back. Tyreek in motion. He looks that way. Throws it to him. Gets around the first man. 35 and out. About the 38-yard line. Is that, Joe? Well, the first out to the left side. Back to throw to it, getting pressure, and just throws it away at the feet of Mostert. They collapsed that pocket so fast, it was unbelievable. Sweat on one side, Reddick on the other. Bailey gets it off. Oh, that's a bad one. Yeah, it is. Off to the side of his foot. Kind of just watches it go out of bounds, so we'll see where they put it down. Oh, uh, good field position for the Eagles. Hurts. Gives it to Swift. Breaks to the right. He's wrapped up by David Long Jr. after a gain of two. Nice, nice yeah. tackle. Came up and uh, made a tackle for a short. Dolphins coming out of blitz. Got him. They knock it down. Oh, good. Get the hands up. Get yeah. the hands up. They didn't get there, but he's got their hands up real close. Good. Third down and eight for the Eagles. Oh. Get him. Keep him. Keep him. Get him. Go. Fumble. Fumble. Oh. Fumble. Oh. Fumble. Oh. Fumble. Oh. Woo! That away, Dolphin defense. See Wilk. Up top, babe. Woo! Be patient. Good things happen. Actually, that's not patience. That's urgency. The Dolphins come away, and boy, the offense going to have great field position to start this drive. What she said. Jalen Phillips. Welcome back. There's the blue bag for fumble. Okay. Go Tyreek. What's that? Okay. 
We'll take four. Oh, man. He still picked up more yards than I thought they would get it. They faked it to Mostert. Underhand, no look pass to Hill. Before Sway, cornerback was able to push that. Fumble by the Eagles. From the 22 of Philadelphia. Empty backfield to it. Back to throw. Oh, oh, throws it downfield. Great ball. What a great throw. And a Jeez, Jalen. Jalen Waddle. Good job. Good time. Jalen Hurts fumbled the football earlier, and the Dolphins trying to cash in on the drive. They fake it to him, roll to his right, throws it back to Tyreek. Tyreek has got nowhere to go, and he's going to lose yards on that one. Quarter action. Six on the play clock. Dolphins get it off. Throws it. Touchdown! And it's Tyreek Hill. Woo! Up. Oh, hold on. Hold on. The original line of scrimmage of 22 for this set of downs. Out pattern to Tyreek is incomplete. And the field goal unit will come on to try and tie this football game. Bailey the holder. Pick is up and he just. Oh, that away, Jason just Sanders. Upright. Three all, Dolphins and Eagles here in Philadelphia. Late first quarter. You're listening to the local Miami Dolphins radio broadcast presented by the Palm Beaches. It's Boston Scott takes it to the two yard line at the 20, 25, 30. Spins at the 35 and is out to the 40 yard line. Yeah, can't Take give him that. Collins. Gives it to Swift. The breaks to his right. Oh, what a cut. Well, makes a great cut wow. on the defender. It gets out to the 47 yard line for Jason. Boy, he made yeah. it. Phillips uh, tackles him. 3 all Miami, Philadelphia here in the city of brotherly love, I think. You're listening to the Miami Dolphins Radio Network. Oh, you like this against a good football team. You can't afford those kinds of things. Hmm. First and 10, play after fake back to throw. They got a screen set up to Goddard to tie it in. And the long. Come on, defense, dig in. Hands up. Hands up. You got him. There you go, defense. Fourth. How about an illegal formation? Yeah, right there. It looks like a dolphin hand is right there. And you know what, Joe? It looks like the Dolphins are offside. I'm looking at a, a side cam. Offside. Defense number 92. Lined up in the neutral zone. Offside. Wow. Do it again. Both hands. Boy, it's hard because, first of all, they got a bunch of big guys. Best they go again. They got it set up again for the brotherly show. Oh, look at that thing. And it just goes and goes wow. and goes. Airtight. First and 10 from Philadelphia. The that was good. About time for an interception. No. Okay. Good start, Cater. Oh. Oh, nice play. What? This could be a 15 yarder. Did they hit him? I think Christian Wilkins going to get called in. Perry Nickerson makes a great play on a blitz. Oh, down man. The, the ball away from the outside. Yeah. A little bit, but as soon as he went down. There you go, defense. Now you get fired up. Swift, the running back. And he is dropped after. Hands up. Well, they got base defense in there. They're tight. Second down at nine. Uh-oh. 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 Geez, that's a little taunt. And the Eagles lead the Miami Dolphins 10 to 3 with 11.25 left to play second quarter. You're listening to the Miami Dolphins Radio Network presenting. Well, Joe, I'm just that guy made fun of me in the elevator. I can't forget that. The Eagles have doubled Doug Peterson. Time possession for the Dolphins. That's a great day. That was one of the goals they wanted is to yep, control the football. The Eagles have. No penalties. The Dolphins have four. 
and net yards, 104 for Philadelphia, just 29 for the Miami Dolphins. 10-3, the Eagles on top of the Dolphins. Early second. Boy, big upgrade. Braxton Berrios takes it out to the 34. Time to get the offense going. New camcorder here. I mean, new flip. Give two a time. Isaiah Wynn is out. Lester Cotton in. Haven't had much on the ground yet. And that continues. Tyreek in motion. Did he get that? Oh my goodness. Jeez. That's professional. Yeah, because he can catch a brown ball and put his feet down. That's beautiful. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you're good. Back to throw two. I'm looking. Gets it off and it's incomplete. He wanted Barrios. Barrios wanted to play with Ryan Covey. Oh, what a kick. Oh, that's a beauty. Can you down it? Oh. Nothing ever broken, right? Good defense. That away defense. Come on now. Settle in. Back to throw. Looking. Short pattern. As Julio Jones, his first catch is an eagle. He came out with a back, he has a back injury. He's questionable. Earlier in the before the game started, I saw the trainer putting a hydroculator pan on his back. So it's something that was hurting him earlier, and we'll see how he can go. He's questionable right now. Jalen is questionable. Third down and four for the Eagles. Oh, they're Dolphins bringing people. Blitz. Van Gink. They're not getting out of it. After it hurts. No. Okay. Pressure, he gets away from them. Flag mm -hmm. comes in, though. He's chased out by Van Ginkle. Uh, and a flag's going to come out there, too. Now he put it back in his pocket. Did you see oh. that? Yeah, the wrong way. Five coming at the end of the play. First down. Eli Apple called for it. You know, I saw it. Gainwell with a handoff, and he is the Good job, man. Jerome. Wow, right at the line of scrimmage. I'll tell you, Baker and Long are playing... Maybe their best game yeah, of the year. Good job, linebackers. Turns back to throw. Get it off, and he's got a great catch by Devontae Smith. Who goes high. Well, that's a fake. That's the throw. Hurts. Gets it from the back side. Oh, oh, it's caught. It's geez. caught by Devontae Smith. All oh, right. The world of that. Gainwell takes the handoff. And he is caught from behind and dropped short of the first time marker at the 33 yard line. I mean, I'm by surprised by that call uh, again. Uh, uh, Wilkins. Oh. Hurts out of the shotgun. Back to throw. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Bradley. Chop just Cut him off. Rolling to his right. Throws back. Oh. And he's got a touchdown. Yeah, just a little bit. To A.J. Brown. Jalen Hurts once again somehow Jalen gets... Hurts that happened right there. What a what a play! An 11 play, 80 yard drive, 6:29 time of possession. And Joe, I think they're going to bring this back to. My... All right, weather the storm. They're going to so push him. Half yard line. Here comes the shove. It's the shove and it's a touchdown. I think they haven't called it yet, but it's obvious. Yeah, now Joe? it is. All right, yeah. there it is. Finally. Well, or just the, can't do it. That's the thing. Don't you have to start worrying about Jalen Hurts at a certain point with this play? Not when you're going three yards every time. Johnson. That is Jalen Hurts' 32nd career rushing touchdown drop. The play, we're here in the second quarter. The kick is up and the kick is good. 17-3, to the Eagles lead the Dolphins. With three, ten left to play in the halftime. Recipe there. Come on, Braxton. Okay. Okay. Yes, he is running hard. That's what I like about him. Very impressive young guy. Give me minus seven yards. Our team leading the league in in yards per carry and yards per game, running the football, and uh, and they're just not enough. We're wearing this defense, the Dolphin defense, and just they can't get off the field, and they're getting no help from the offense. Barrios got out to the 28-yard line. First attempt for Miami from there. They've got all three. 
Okay, huge possession right here. Tyreek. Yeah. Three timeouts, plenty of time. He's all had all the heat packs around his back, and they took him in the locker room. I doubt we're going to see him again uh, this evening, guys. All right, thanks very much. Yeah. Thirty-two yard line. Yeah. What? He's going to throw it down the field. He's got nobody open. He's standing oh. in the backfield. Josh oh. Sweat. There are fouls by both teams. Personal foul. Ninety-eight defense. Personal foul. Seventy-three offense. The penalty is offset. Third and 13. Oh. We got some movement. That's yeah. Dolphin. That's going to go on Lester Cotton, Jimmy. Third down and 18. Dolphins have six penalties for 45 yards. The Eagles have none. Two of back to throw. Mm -hmm. back Good field. time. Good protection. Good time. Oh, Somebody there. Oh, man. 11. Cedric. Is Cedric Wilson. Jeez. The you're going to have to fill in for Jalen big time. You did right there. That's huge. You couldn't punt it in that situation. Good job. Go Braxton. Yes. Yeah, I like that high motor. I need eighth graders to do that kind of thing. Let's get the ball. Let's go upfield. Good point, Joe Rose. Get the ball to start the second half. You need a field goal here. Touchdown would be awesome. Give him time. Oh, that's another nice one. Go down, Tyreek. Yes. Three timeouts. Yeah, no panic. Weather storm. That away, Jeff Wilson. Welcome back. 23. Okay, boys. So Move those feet. Plenty of time. At the Eagle 25 yard line. Back to throw to it. Get out of pressure. And they got him back to the 27. Timeout. I'll have to call a timeout there. Ultimate defense. Yeah, very good defense. <laughs> Is that asking too much? Come on. One penalty. Come on, Green. What do you got? Dolphins trail 17 to 3. 45 seconds left to play on halftime. Let's go, Liam. You got him. Head up. Good. Got him. Got him. Woo! Yes! Woo! No penalty flags. No penalty flags. Woo! That's huge right there. Great play. Yeah. Thing of beauty. Watch this, YouTube fans. What do you think about this? Right by him. Tariq went to the inside and blew past oh, and the quarterback. Yeah. I mean, by just looking it off and coming oh, up, like, how many look at that pass. every game, he's two or three yards out in front of somebody going down the corner. Fenders on to the extra point. If he's up, it is good. And the Dolphins have the lead. Excuse me, Dolphins. Oh, we want, Jimmy. That's coming seconds. soon. Well, my mind was going to was that's a win because they also get the football back to begin that third quarter. Third now, down. Uh, Jimmy, to get so outplayed in this first half and so yeah. dominated by time of possession, haven't been able to run the football, and the Dolphins go, okay, we, we can't run it. We're, we're going to pass it. We're going to go to a two-minute drill, hit the big 30-yard play to Wilson, and it just kind of opened up, Jimmy. And, and once this offense gets in rhythm, he's getting rid of the ball quickly. He's spreading it out, and uh, and they hit the big one down have, the side. They have negative rushing yards. Who will be coming up? There's Tanner Connor running down there, number 80, so young guy on kick team. Sirianni decides to do with just 39 seconds left until halftime. I know one thing. Think, uh, got a little quiet around here after that. Quiet her. That's Jalen Hurts going to congratulate Boy. Tua.
Oh, good pocket. Perfect placement. Yeah. They'll probably run it, but I wouldn't mind a pick here. Oh, they are passing it. They're blitzing them, and they got There you go. That's confidence. Don't, Jalen, come on now. Come on. Just play football. And that'll take us to the end of the first half. That's it. Dolphins with going the score. Up pretty jacked up going the off the Eagles field. 17. Yeah, they are. Miami Dolphins 10. Got some momentum here, boys. Come on now. Talk it over. All right, oh. thanks, Jimmy. 17 10 score. What's. Up the front, they made some splash plays um, on the line of scrimmage that we need to get handled. We need to get in a rhythm and be able to execute our offense. Um, starting from the uh, line out. A big sack there on defense. How, what have you figured out, or what do you need to figure out in the second? Well, I, th I think that it's team football. We're, we're, uh, we got a turnover. We need to capitalize on that, get into the end zone again. Um, but it really just starts with one series at a time. Um, I feel like our guys are in a good spot, and um, we just need to go compete for another half. Thanks, Mike. Thank you. They get the ball to start the second half. 17-10 is the score with Philadelphia on top. The Mike McDaniel sprint to Sunday night tradition up to the locker room as we send it to Maria Taylor for the Toyota halftime. Maria, we'll find the Thanks, Mike. I appreciate it. Well, it was all about the